Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about minimum sample size calculation for prevalence study or estimation of proportions. If proportion is given or prevalence is given, then how we'll calculate the minimum sample size. So for that, to calculate sample size requirement for estimating prevalence of an event in a population required inputs. So we required expected prevalence of the event in the study group. So if proportion of prevalence is reported for the study group, an expected absolute allowable error in the P equal to, or we can say D, for example, 10% relative allowable error as 10% of P means prevalence will be taken as absolute error. So value of the normal deviate at considered level of confidence Z1 minus alpha by two. So if these are the inputs are given, then the required sample size, we can apply the formula Z square into P into one minus P. So this would be the one minus P means P into Q divided by D. So this would be the P. This would be, you can write the P or in this place, we can write the Q divided by D square. So we can calculate, we can find the minimum required sample size for prevalence study. So we can understand with help of the examples. Suppose we have an example, the current prevalence of malaria in a community is expected to around 40%. Hence to estimate the current prevalence of malaria in that community, it is 40% already reported so but we want to estimate the current prevalence of malaria in that particular community for that how many persons should be included in the study at five percent level of significant and absolute allowable error as ten percent so this is the question is given we need to understand how to get minimum sample size so try to understand the calculation. For the calculation, we need to find out the, what are the givens. So P is given already 40% and Z1 minus alpha by two for two-sided normal deviate would be the 1.96 and absolute allowable error is given 10% would be 0 0.10. For the required sample size, as we know the sample size formula, Z1 minus alpha PQ, this would be the one, this would be the P1 minus P, or we can write this is the PQ and divided by D square. So we need to just put the value 1.96, 40 is given and 60 is given. So 10 is given already squares, we'll get the 92 sample size. So a minimum of 92 people should be included in the study. Accordingly, 95% may be included in the study. So this is the simple method for prevalence study. We can calculate the minimum sample size. Thank you.